Hello, this is my sketchbook, this is my pen. I'm about to paint this, but not this, because I'm gonna paint something different. I'm gonna paint whatever I'm about to draw right now. And I've created a couple squares, and I'm gonna kinda see where it takes me. I know that I want a couple things. I want a flower, all right? So I want a flower. I want a bug, like a ladybug. A ladybug. And the ladybug is going to be holding something precious. And it's going to be pointing uh, some kind of sword. But the sword's probably going to be like a thorn because ladybugs are small. And it's going to be pointing it at a snail. So I want a snail, I want a ladybug, and I want a flower. And those things are going to make up this painting. And so, but first I got to figure out what order I want them in. Okay, so I know I want ladybug on the right, snail on the left, uh, maybe the ladybug sitting on the flower, but I don't want the ladybug to be too big because I don't want him to make the snail be like a small little snail. I want the snail to be bigger. So I started out, I was going to put the ladybug on the flower, but when I started thinking about it, the flower is going to be like a pink or a purple. And a pinky purple is gonna really clash with the red on the ladybug. So I put the flower on the left side in the background to kind of make it feel like the flower is not really the point of the painting. The ladybug and the snail is the point of the painting. But I wanted to pop a pop of color other than the red from the ladybug. So, I put the flower in the background, but I don't really like where it is on this last sketch, so I'm gonna do it one more time, but I do it on the sketch in my sketchbook that I'm gonna be painting it in in a minute. Less than a minute, maybe a minute, because I gotta show you all the colors I'm gonna be using, just in case you're wondering, because when you're new and you're painting and you're watching people paint, sometimes you're like, I wonder what colors they were using. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take my paint tubes and I'm gonna show you each of the colors. And if you miss any, you can go back and write down what they are, pause it and write them down. Um, but yeah, these are all my colors. Okay, so now we're ready to start. Well, I'm gonna use white too and Payne's Gray. So white and Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray is basically like in place of black because whenever you use black, a lot of times in paintings, it really just kind of uh, isn't very good. So you use Payne's Gray because it's a less black black, if that makes sense. Anyways, so now I am drawing out my final, my final sketch to paint on top of. And uh, as you can tell, I put my flower in the bottom left corner, like I done said. Um, it's not in my sketch, like I done said. But um, everything else is good. I like the size of the ladybug and the size of the snail. I wish the snail was maybe a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Uh, I don't find that out until later, whenever I start painting the snail. Anyways, this is me painting the background. The background was supposed to be just kind of like a blurry background. Um, it wasn't supposed to be anything special, but it's like the more I tried to make it not look um, pretty, the more it looked ugly, which, you know, that's how things go. You know, when you're trying to make something not look pretty, it kind of looks ugly. But the problem was um, I made it too swishy swashy with my paintbrush instead of like smoothing it out because usually when you have a blurry background you can't see any brush strokes it's very blended and smooth and I didn't do that and that's kind of uh, where I messed up on the background but that's okay now I'm painting the flower and I got the middle of the flower and I got the petals and the petals are like the most fun to paint because they're nice and smooth and they got all the textures of the petals. And in order to make it look, um, in order to make it not look flat, you gotta make 
the far petals kind of blurry looking and the front petals more detailed. So it kind of gives the illusion that the flower is kind of on its side, kind of at an angle. And it's a big flower, so you can't see all the details of the back petals. And on the petals, they have all kinds of little grooves and bends in them. So you have to add the shadows, the light, the, the shine of the light, and then the shadow right next to it so that it makes it look like a curved um, part. Anyway, so now I'm doing this big old leaf over here that the ladybug's going to be sitting on. And I hate this big old leaf. I never like this big old leaf. Um, even at the end of it, like the painting's done and it's sitting over there in my sketchbook and I still hate the big old leaf. Um, but that's okay because I got my coffee and we're ready to go. Um, this is actually the next day. Uh, I'm like, yep, don't, don't give a sip about it. I'm just going to paint it and it's going to be great. So today I'm doing the snail and the snail was the most fun. To paint. I thought it was going to be the hardest part because, you know, it's all like swirly and you gotta, you know, it's like painting a circle is hard so a snail is like, you know, a circle within a circle within a circle and I thought it would be really hard but it actually wasn't. It was actually really fun and I got to do all these little grooves um, to make the textures of the snail shell and I loved doing that. It was, I could have done that like all day, um, but I didn't because I had to finish it. So I'm trying to get all the little grooves of the snail shell and then I paint the snail itself. And my snail, he, he looks okay. Um, I could have done a little bit better on the actual snail. I could have done better on the ladybug too, but the ladybug wings are, or the shell that covers up the top of the wings. Um, I really, really like that too. But the ladybug body uh, is a different story. The ladybug body I kind of gave up on because I was like, it's all black and you can't really see um, all the little ladybug parts, like the feet. So I kind of just left it black and I was like, that's good enough. Because I really like the flower, I really like the ladybug wings, and then I really like the snail shell. The leaf was terrible. I fast forwarded through the leaf bit because I go on and on and on forever trying to get the leaf to look right. And it doesn't ever look right, so it looks okay like that. Anyway, so now I'm painting the little dewdrop or whatever this is that the ladybug is holding. Originally, I was gonna have it be an aphid because ladybugs eat aphids. And I thought that this ladybug could be, you know, chowing down on an aphid, you know, and then all of a sudden this snail kind of falls over on this leaf and he's like, get back snail, uh, this is my aphid, my lunchtime, not yours. Um, but I thought it might be a little bit morbid to have a ladybug eating an aphid with the aphid body just in its arm. And I thought that might be not, not too great. But anyways, uh, that was my thought, but now it's a little dewdrop, And it looks like a cute little marble instead of a dead aphid body. <laughs> anyway, more snail shell details. All the details, I loved it, it was great. The swirl, I love swirls. Swirls on anything are great and fun um, to draw, to paint, to anything. Swirls are the way to go. Um, but I'm trying to get the light and the shadow right so that it looks curved. And then I get the middle of the flower looking a little bit darker so that it kind of has some depth and shadow. The end of a painting is mostly just trying to get the light and shadow right. You're putting all the little detail touches and really where the light is hitting. Now I'm doing the ladybug shell, exoskeleton, whatever you want to call it. 
This was pretty fun to paint too. It was scary because it's bright red and it's like, oh my gosh, if I put anything in the wrong spot, you're gonna be able to notice it and then I'm gonna have to repaint the whole thing. But when I did all these shadows and tried to make the shell look rounded and everything, it actually came together and looked pretty nice. I was very worried about it. I was like, man, this looks bad. Um, but once I, once I did it and it dried and then I put all the little shines of the light hitting the curves um, of the shell. I thought it looked pretty cool and very glossy and shiny. So the ladybug face is a different story. I was trying to make it shiny. It didn't work. Uh, so I moved on to the snail body. And the snail body was a little bit more complicated because I didn't really realize what a snail actually looked like in the face. Um, you think of a cartoon snail and it's just kind of like uh, a blobby bit with little eyes poking out. But when you actually look up a picture of a snail, it's got all kinds of like wrinkly bits and the face is actually kind of weird. So I thought it worked out pretty good because he's supposed to have like kind of a weird look on his face like, whoa dude, chill, like chill out. Um, like a very kind of shocked, like, I'm just a snail, dude. I'm not after your stuff. Uh, kind of look on his face. And I think it worked with how an actual snail's face looks. <laughs> so anyway, now I'm adding little highlights to kind of make his face pop a little bit more. So you can tell the dimensions of his face and everything. I add some more details to the shell because I just wanted to keep painting the shell. <laughs> Adding some little makeshift pupils on these little white parts so you can tell what direction they're looking in. And then the final little reflections on the shell. And I think the final little light reflections really make it pop and look good. So that is it, and here's up close so you can actually see it, and I think it looks pretty cute. Uh, my, my ladybug, you can cover up the bottom part of the ladybug, and the whole thing looks a lot better. Um, that's it. Bye for now. Uh, and I do decide to go over the background one more time because the background kind of blends in with the leaf. And I didn't want it to blend in with the leaf so much. I needed more contrast and I just hated the background. It looked messy and incomplete. So it's just a real quick little bloop bloop and I make it darker. Let me know if you think it looks better. Um, but yeah, this is it. And that's how a sketchbook painting should go. Not too much thought, just kind of messing around, having fun. I think it's a cute little idea. Um, I didn't really want to make a full painting of it, but I did want to paint it. So I'm glad I did. I learned a lot. Um, I'll probably end up doing a snail shell in the future because I just like painting it so much. Um, so yeah, that's my takeaway. Do a doodle, make a sketch, paint in your sketchbook to save canvas space. See y'all next time. Thank you.